woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Well, a tutti, raga, qua è Visca. <coughs> e siamo qui oggi in questa diciottesima puntata, se non erro. Uh, come abbiamo sentito. Eh, Naomi si è inguaiata mica male con eh, tutti diciamo che è così e così eh, innanzitutto guardiamo perché qua c'erano le trap le trepole allora, di qua dobbiamo allora visto che in questa puntata Vedremo per la prima volta il Metal Gear Cazzo, 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 io, io Dobbiamo rifornirci di eh, Granate, soprattutto le chaffe Gli Stinger, perché Se non riusciamo a farmarlo dobbiamo tankarlo, quindi Quindi ci serve tutto il possibile, tutto il necessario Oh, ecco qua il Metal Gear Piccolino Alla fine allora. Colonne sonora che spaccano i culi Parte 2 Snake, it's me What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys, and besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Ok, in pratica ci dobbiamo fidare a Otacom per sbloccare Per... Uh, scusate, accedere alle informazioni segrete di Baker Che ci, in pratica ci permettono quindi di mm, smontare No, scherzo, di disattivare uh, il Metal Gear con la PAL che, Cioè quella tessera che ci ha dato il... Snake, it's me again How's it going? Not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think he'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. 
stavo dicendo con la tessera che ci ha dato di Koi 8 forse alla fine ci ha dato lui comunque ci romperà i coglioni per ogni piano Otakon a dirci che o oh, ce la fa Vai. questa volta si sì, un ultimo piano quindi ce la fa e ci dice come si sblocca Intanto ragazzi eh, vi ricordo che purtroppo o oh, per molti di voi finalmente sta finendo questa lunga serie eh, sul Metal Gear, sul Metal Gear 1. Snake, I did it! You got bad security? Bingo! Great, so what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START 3 treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Ok, uh, yeah, in pratica ci ha raccontato un po' tutta la storia e la tecnologia del Metal Gear che noi vabbè interessa relativamente alla fine per, per il gioco Diazze Pantuk Soccom Però lì l'abbiamo atterrato quindi non mi rompe più Li coglioni Se sentite i testi pigiare vi ricordo che sono sempre lì Non mi rompere il cazzo So che c'è qua la, la cosa di comunicazione Quindi ci guardiamo il video Ok 
Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lochnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare... Bene ragazzi, mi fermo qua, <coughs> anche perché ho ancora pochissimo tempo. Uh, mi dispiace di non aver fatto praticamente niente in questa puntata, comunque... Eh, non cred credo che anche nella prossima non farò ben poco cioè non, non, nel senso che non sconfiggerò il Metal Gear eh, però spero che vi continui a piacere che vi piace questa, mh, questa puntata come tutta la serie eh, nel caso lasciate un bel mi piace commento, iscrivetevi al nostro canale e seguiteci anche su Facebook bella a tutti da Visca